ATC Weatherland. Here's Rob's forecast. Welcome back. Well, it looks like we have a better chance of showers and thunderstorms on the way for tomorrow, especially in the afternoon into the evening. Then rain chances toning down and then the humidity toning down. Temperatures are still going to be hot during the day, but it's going to be much more comfortable humidity wise. So it's almost going to feel like a fall coup front, but we're not quite there yet. Meanwhile, the tropics are quite busy and we'll get to that in just a bit. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on here. That was a little weird. Just had a blank map of Louisiana, but we'll get into uh, what's going on satellite imagery wise. It is quite across the area. We did have a scattering and smattering of sh showers and some locally heavy thunderstorms. It was right in that 30% zone. Got into the lower 90s today. Storm system back to the west. That's dropping to the south. Active storms off to the east, and we do have a little bit of a frontal boundary here. That's going to be working its way southward, so a better chance of storms on the way. We'll talk more about that in just a bit. First off though, new in the tropics, new tropical storm Erin here, 40 mile per hour winds, no threat to the US, maybe the Canadian Maritimes, so we're not giving Erin a cone. It's just going to stay a moderate tropical storm. So no cone for Erin, but we have a cone for Dorian. We'll talk more about that in a bit. So far today, it's been an interesting day for Dorian. Not a particularly organized tropical system. A lot of the convection has been weighted more toward the northern part of the system, and that has pushed the National Hurricane Center to readjust the center of this tropical storm farther and farther to the north. And farther to the north, the better off it will be for the Gulf of Mexico. We'll talk a little bit more about that in just a bit. Still 50 mile per hour winds, tropical storm warnings and tropical storm conditions likely affecting portions of Puerto Rico for tomorrow afternoon through tomorrow evening, ending tomorrow night. So this is going to go right over the island of Puerto Rico. Remember, it's a mountainous island, so that's going to break up the storm a little bit. But right now, uh, 65 mile an hour wind, so it's going to be a higher end tropical storm, but the island doesn't need it, but it could be a lot worse. Then the system begins to recover as we get into the open Atlantic with uh, an intensification process. Now the Hurricane Center intensifying the system along with a lot of the tropical models. And here we go with the end of the cone uh, right near central Florida, which has been a nudge a little bit farther to the north, but it should be noted all the tropical models I've looked at tonight have this going to a category uh, between a one and a four. So this could be a stronger hurricane at landfall. We'll just have to wait and see a category two would be a pretty good call right now. And then where is it going to go thereafter? The farther north it strikes the Florida coast, the better it is for the Gulf of Mexico. So after this system gets through Hispaniola and Puerto Rico, we'll be watching it closely. Now looking at the European moisture, we're going to show you the forecast track as well. First off for us, we got that drier air coming in as we head into the weekend. Here's what the European model looks like where it's got the center of the storm. Now the track models have adjusted a little bit farther to the north here. And again, most of the track models centered over towards central Florida, perhaps northeast Florida. So we'll watch that. But there are also a couple of models in south Florida. So there's a little uh, uh, discourse amongst the models. And again, the European model, this is earlier today, indicating some sort of threat perhaps to the extreme northeastern Gulf of Mexico. We won't say Louisiana for now, and we won't be able to say anything more than that for several more days. So we'll just watch it for now. Not a threat to us for at this point. Tomorrow starts off quiet. Scattered showers and thunderstorms during the course of the afternoon and evening. Latest run of the Futurecast model. Not as aggressive on the storms, especially northern portions of Acadiana. But I think we're going to see a pretty good scattering. I got rain chance at about 50 to 60 percent. Then drier conditions starting as we head into Thursday. As for rainfall, typical with thunderstorms, you may catch a tenth or a quarter of an inch of rain. But if you're in the wrong spot, several inches of rain. This model is going hot over Franklin, but I wouldn't buy that at this point. But up to two to three inches of rain possible in a few isolated spots. So another steamy evening out there. 76 the low tomorrow. 91 92 the high. Good chance of afternoon and early evening storms. As we told you, rain chance at about 50%. And that's mainly late in the day, afternoon into the evening. Maybe a renegade shower on Thursday, but not likely. Then the good stuff coming in Thursday night into Friday. Friday night into Saturday morning. Temperatures getting down at night into the lower 70s. Upper 60s outlying areas to the north and much more more comfortable humidity. That humidity tries to return by the end of the Labor Day weekend, but overall not a bad looking mm -hmm. holiday weekend ahead. For sure. Thanks, Rob.